Good day my brother and sister. Welcome to the edition. I have a quick question for you. Do you think that Joseph recognized that the favor of God was with him? So in all the things that Joseph went through that we read in the Bible, do you think that he recognized that the favor of God was in his life, over his life, and constantly with him? I ask this because most times as people we seek the favor of God. We want the favor of God over our lives. But more often than not, it is so easy to recognize it when it's over somebody else's life. We can look at someone and say, you are such a blessed person. Truly, God's favor is with you. You are amongst God's favorite children because he const constantly continues to bless you. It's so easy to recognize it when it's over somebody else's household. But my question stands, do you think that Joseph recognized that the favor of God was with him? You see, you know that the favor of God was with Joseph. I know that because the Bible tells us that. The Bible gives us what is like an aerial view of Joseph's life, an account written by somebody else and Continuously, it's reiterated, the favor of God was with Joseph. We see when he is in Potiphar's house, it says that the favor of God was with him, such that even Pharaoh recognizes it and puts him in charge of the household, such that Pharaoh himself doesn't have to worry about anything but the food that he's going to eat that day. We see that in prison, when the prison warden himself recognizes it and puts uh, Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners. We see that when he leaves prison and gets to interpret Pharaoh's dream and Pharaoh puts him a second in command in the land. But the question still stands. Did Joseph recognize that the favor of God was with him in his life? Or rather, did Joseph focus on all the atrocities that happened in his life? The fact that his brothers threw him in that pit with the aim and intention of killing him. Fine, they didn't kill him. Did he focus on the fact that he was sold to slavery, ripped from the loving embrace and household that is his father's house and sold to be a slave? Not only that, he is sold into slavery, and when he is sold into slavery, he gets to live under the house of this man who gives him all these responsibilities that allow him, being a slave, to enrich Potiphar. Does he stay in prison and lament and focus on the fact that he is in prison, wrongfully accused for something he didn't even do? Or did he actually notice that God's favor was with him when the prison warden put him in charge? Or did he rather say, not only am I thrown in prison, wrongfully accused, but the prison warden is not even doing his job. And not only am I a prisoner, I have to do the job that is not mine and be in charge of all these prisoners. The question still remains. Do you think that Joseph recognized the favor of God that was constantly with him, constantly chasing him, constantly hovering over him in his life? This is something that I have been reflecting on. You see, no matter who you are in life, we will go through challenges. There will be trials. There will be things that you are going through that you don't want to go through. There will be things that you are right in the middle of that you wish that God could take away from you at that very moment. And it is those things that will distract you and stop you from recognizing the things that God is doing in your life. We go to the Bible and we read the accounts in the Bible. The Bible is based on stories that happened in the past, things that God did for people in the past. Even though it's alive, it's history. The same way we can go to the Bible and find all this um, courage and restoration of hope, we need to be able to look at our own lives 
and when we are going through things, reflect back on what God has done in our lives, what God has taken us out of, and recognize the favor of God that has been with us. Get me right. God's favor is not going to be over each and every single area of your life, but there will be and there is an area where God favors you, where it is easier for you when you take that path than the next person. Do you take time to rejoice over that when you are struggling in another area? Do you take time to count your blessings and name them one by one? To be grateful, gratitude. Let's make that our goal this year, that no matter what we are going through, we are going to focus on the areas in our lives where it is easier for us than other people, where it comes effortlessly for us than other people. For example, I have a lot of people whom even in the comment section will say to me, you are so lucky that you get to dream that God speaks to you through dreams. But do you think that when I am going through the hustles and struggles of life, I cling on to that, that I get to have this personal encounter with God when I go to sleep at night, that I get to have my hope restored through these dreams. No, when I am going through life and things are tough, I even get angry that he keeps showing me all the good things that he's showing me in my dreams. Instead of recognizing how lucky I am and how fortunate I am to be able to dream, which not everybody dreams, I don't cling on to this beautiful thing that God has given me. And it's not all times, no. It's when times are tough. It's when I have an obstacle ahead in front of me that I need solving now. It blurs the vision. And nothing at that point seems good nothing at that point seems worth it in life. My brother and sister, I want you to go read the story of Joseph. Put yourself in his shoes and tell me, would you as a Joseph have recognized that the favor of God is in your life? Having done that, go back to your life. Sit in that problem, that situation that you're currently going through. And in it, you don't see the God's favor. Now step out of it and look at all the other things that he did, things he resolved for you, all the other things that he resolved and took you out of, and recognize the favor of God in those areas. I pray that this word blesses you. I pray that you will recognize the favor of God over your life. All these things I say in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen.